the digital health group is really about is in the healthcare space and all aspects of the healthcare space is gaining a deep understanding of what the issues are uh, and then sitting down and trying to figure out how we put the right products together um, in collaboration working with the ecosystem. Another example to amplify today, every major electronic medical record supplier in the world is on that screen. It has product that will work in this new the C5 product in motion. I think it's a testament to our ability to understand the issues, develop a product and a platform, work with the ecosystem and deliver a solution that helps nurses. You know, the data today it's preliminary, but you know, 70% improvement uh, for a nurse's productivity, instantaneous access to real-time information, which is sometimes two and a half, three days old, or two and a half hours old. You know, the example after example, uh, Anne and Dr. Bloom gave, I thought were stunning. So that's what we're about to press is we're just quietly going about trying to understand the issues and solve them. You know, there's been a lot of companies that have came and left healthcare and a lot of uh, hoopla around them. We're not attacking that way. You know, we are a, an outstanding company of technology and we're an outstanding company of solving really hard problems. And we're not a healthcare company. We're working really closely with healthcare experts to try to collaboratively build uh, a good solution. I think today is an ex excellent example. We operate under the mantra of my dad. It's two ears and one mouth using proportionally. So we listen a lot. We quietly get about doing our work uh, and starting to solve those issues. I think the best way to think about it is we're gonna take the world's best ingredients and put together solutions that really understand end users' needs and issues. And without question, Intel makes the best processors and chipsets and networking things. So we're going to use those products and integrate them and solve real problems. Uh, today is another great example. I thought the question was really good from the audience is, hey, all this stuff exists. What's right. different? Well, as Dr. Bloom said, who's a, a doctor and an info, you know, a CIO, is has not been put together in a way that solves the problem and truly understands the issues. What you saw today is a true statement of understanding through the deep, deep research. So we'll use the best ingredients on the planet to put products together that solve real problems in healthcare. The historical perspective, we did the original concept. It was a code name Oak City. Paul showed it. We went with wooden models, worked with nurses trying to understand, and we'd love to tell the story about the nurse cutting the strap off because it was quite dramatic. Uh, it also said that they believed in us. Uh, and then we did trials, early trials with Oak City while Motion was taking all that information and developing the product that will go into the marketplace. Oak City will not go into the marketplace. It was a vehicle for doing deep research and early trials, which really informed uh, much of the decision process on the C5 product. The thing about MCA, it's a category, modal, mobile clinical assistant. It's not called a tablet, it's not called a notebook, it's not called a cow. It really talks about what we're trying to bring to the marketplace as a, a device that moves within mobile, and it's a clinical assistant. It's helping the clinicians do their job. So it's not a mobile clinical tablet, it's not a mobile cl clinical computer. It's really trying to give them the right information, point of decision. So you think about clinicians make rapid fire decisions all day long that can be life or death decisions. And having the right information at the point of that decision, the most up to date information is clear. So I a mobile clinical assistant. It's a category. Um, which there'll be a number of people building products into. Motion's the first. Oftentimes the issue is the stability in Windows is an issue of um, deployment, not an issue of product quality. You can, there's corporations around the world, literally around the world, that run everyday mission critical stuff in a Windows environment. Through policy and rigor and deployment, you can do, I was a CIO at Intel for five years, you can run very stable Windows environments. Right. It's different than your home when you got six kids loading different things and dangling DLLs and yeah. all kinds of things. So it's the right platform to run on SafeEye because it's got that the core tablet computing, ink, pen inputs, character recognition. Right. Just Here. slowly but surely you'll see what we've been up to. Today's the first really public demonstration of products built specifically for healthcare. And just stay tuned. We'll quietly show those as we go throughout the year. Like you made the point earlier, is you don't see a lot of press on us. That's on purpose. We're not about getting press. We're about helping nurses and doctors or helping elders in their home. And that's where we get our reward. And that'll continue.